Nikki Haley abruptly resigned on Tuesday morning as U.S. ambassador to the United Nations. She'll leave her post in December. President Trump announced the departure from the Oval Office where he said that she has been very special to me and is a fantastic person. She's done a fantastic job and we've done a fantastic job together, he said, citing the progress toward a nuclear deal with North Korea. We're all happy for you in one way, but we hate to lose you. He said that she would hopefully she would return in another capacity telling her she could have her pick of jobs if she wants to come back. Haley has been considered a rising star within the Republican Party and a leading candidate for president in 2020 if Trump decides not to run for re-election. She put those rumors to rest on Tuesday, though, in the joint appearance where she said she would be campaigning for the current Oval Office occupant in 2020. The resignation was first reported by the news website Axios. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders did not confirm it but said a tweet minutes after Axios reported the resignation, President Trump and Ambassador Nikki Haley will meet in the Oval Office at 10.30 a.m. this morning. This event will be open to the pool. The president subsequently said in a tweet that he'd be making a big announcement with my friend Ambassador Nikki Haley in the Oval Office at 10.30 a.m. Trump's tweet suggested that Haley is leaving the administration on good terms, despite recent clashes with the president. She spoke out strongly in favor of Christine Blasey Ford after the university professor levied an accusation of sexual assault against Judge Brett Kavanaugh. It turns my stomach. It really turns my stomach. I mean, Ms. Ford needs to be heard, but Brett Kavanaugh needs to be heard, and the Senate has a responsibility here, Haley told Fox News. They have to lead. They have to make sure it's fair, they have to make sure it's responsible, and they have got to take the politics out of this situation. Haley defended the president in strong terms, however, a day later when a reporter asked her about an alleged plot to remove Trump from office using the 25th Amendment. A cabinet-level member of the Trump administration since the Republican took office, she said no one is questioning the president's mental acuity. It is completely and totally absurd, Haley said at a late September news conference. No one is questioning the president at all. If anything, we're trying to keep up the pace with him in the fact that he's got a lot that he wants to accomplish very quickly and we're going to continue to support him in the way that he does that. Apparently, that support will no longer involve her acting as the face of the United States on the global stage at the United Nations. Even before her announced departure from the Oval Office, Haley had already wiped her Twitter bio of any mention of the United Nations and the Trump administration. A State Department source indicated to DailyMail.com that her resignation wasn't as abrupt as it seemed. She didn't tell anyone at State before she told the White House, but people suspected this was coming, the person said. She was asking some of us a few months ago about timing. Seems now like she decided to wait until Justice Kavanaugh's confirmation was over so she wouldn't be a distraction. Trump said that he told her roughly six months ago that she wanted to take time off at the end of a two-year stint 